Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is an adaptive opportunistic routing scheme for wireless ad hoc networks in the domain networking. Let's see the brief explanation of our project. In this paper, we design an adaptive opportunistic routing scheme for multi-hope wireless ad hoc network. Opportunistic router, which increases the transmission range and network throughput. The router which forward each node after only getting acknowledgement, even in the absence of channel statistics, in this router scheme can be achieved. The router scheme which maximizes the expected average per packet from source to destination. In our existing method, we faced an unnecessary packet transmission even in one fixed path scheme. The opportunistic router the which provides the poor wireless broadcast in a wireless transmission. In our proposed, we design an opportunistic routing from wireless ad hoc, ad hoc network. This router which forwards the packet only after getting the acknowledgement of a neighbor node. The high reliable and secure transmission was implemented. Now, this routing algorithm which maximizes the expected average per packet from source to destination, but each node may decision on the belief using the information obtained by its neighbor that is each node may decision only getting the acknowledgement from its neighbor node let's see the flowchart of our project this is our level 0 process that is the first is the initialization stage that is we are going to initialize our network then we are going to connect a node with a e with a link calculate the work node and the edges and store those in our database then we are going to find the routing range that is uh, the name of the router we are using and um, find the range then we are going to meter our network if no ne network if no area where get connected no action will be undertaken if our network has been connected find the bit rate and sample rate from the signal then uh, store those data in our database next is our level one process that is our topology creation we have several different kinds of topology wire provider that is star, bus, uh, ring, mesh topology but in our, the, here we have considered the two topology that is our bus and star topology. The bus is used for wired network and star is used for wireless network. Here we are going to consider with a wireless network and uh, so I have considered a star topology. Connect, connect the node and the network coverage of each uh, now star topology. Find the edge of and uh, no transmission from each range is calculated and stored uh, that in database. Then find the synthetic area allocation of the of the of our star topology. Then find the network coverage that is we are going to transmit a node from one node to one other that is from source to destination to so calculate the each node transmission range that is the distance and and we are going to store that in database. Now we are going to transmit our uh, packet uh, from one node to one other. So we are after getting the acknowledgement we need to make a decision. If no acknowledgement was provided, no transmission was provided. If uh, if we get an acknowledgement success, a successful transmit transmission and the acknowledgement range with the retained, then find the transmission range from one place to another. Then estimate the network range. That is the network the that is for network time, the transmission range, topology range, and each node has get evaluated. Let's see the demo of our project. This is our home page. We are going to enter. This is our first model that is initialization stage. Here, this is our development process. That is, first we have given an opportunistic routing level 13. That is, we are going to display our 13 nodes. Let's see. Initialize the network. This is our start node button, network node button. Here, the node target displayed. Uh, we have chosen a 13 that is opportunistic routing level as 13 the 13 node will get displayed here now we are going to connect those nodes that is a trans uh, here the node uh, we get transmit from one node to one another this is a transmission shown this is our router level that is we are going to find the router what we are currently using this is a router name what we are using now And, and this is a, we are going to initialize work type that is what the, this is the name of the NIC card we are using and the network status uh, we have checked the network status as true we have the our network is get connected now and the signal status is false 
and the network and the network speed is now 1000 mbps and the coverage strength that is uh, uh, no the transmission the transmission range we are with, uh, with the kilobits per second signal integrity were given and the data identification that is uh, work node and network identification were also provided now we are going this is our next module that is a network monitoring module we are going to monitor our network this is a signal flowing uh, this is our signal rate that is uh, how the network is uh, connected with the range that is in the wireless medium this is our this is an opportunistic time and the wireless network this is the flow of network where get uh, finding find the bit rate from this Here we found the rate as 272 as the network flows we found it and uh, again we found now we found as 482 and uh, when the network differ the range is also get differ here and now find the sample rate the sample rate we found is 302 and uh, as the same uh, when the network differs uh, at the network time uh, we found the now we found the rate as 508 and this is next module that is network topology creation um, we have uh, as we said earlier we have we found so many net topology is provided that is bus star mesh uh, so many network topology was provided since uh, uh, we here we have a star and bus topology since it's an wireless network we star topology the star topology is going to display here and uh, uh, give a network uh, star topology restriction point i have given here as 10 and 11 so display the network topology router that is uh, source destination and uh, this is all the network coverage point that is network coverage 0 1 4 2 3 and uh, these ranges uh, were get calculated randomly and now we have connected the net network coverage with the source and destination with the link network links uh, star topology connected with the one to many networks and uh, this is our, our range this network has connected with a minimum range of 1.144 and the maximum range of 2.08125 then find the synthetic area allocation of, of this network that is we found 6.65725 let's see what's the next process that is we need to we are going to find the network transmission range that is there we have uh, so we have seen a network coverage and the source and destination now we are so the data may get transaction that is one node to another node we need to calculate the distance of each node and edges that is here with the source level location and the destination uh, and the service organization that is from source to destination this range and service organization is this range. now we find the service area allocation that is the whole area uh, that is from data service one service to serv several services were provided no those ranges were get calculated here now before we are going to transmit a node from one to another we need to get an acknowledgement let's check, let's check our acknowledgement status here the acknowledgement received packet transmitted at that range so our acknowledgement is get success here when uh, and the transmission range is sound point double eight six eight six seven so here the network is uh, is transmitting a node successfully our next module is network cost estimation module that is we are going to estimate the cost for each node of our network this is our our network value button that is uh, a node transmitting from one place to another with this range that is it flow it started with two uh, 201 something and uh, goes and again decrease um, this, is, this is due to uh, low acknowledgement that is a uh, delay of acknowledgement uh, get a uh, no transmission other so at this point we found the low acknowledgement status that is low transmission status and again it goes higher and this is our this uh, connect network time the network time make it differ from one uh, one place to another that is we got the so cost of our network if the cost of our network is goes on high due to our opportunistic problem thank you